All right, we're going to go to the phones. Producer Daniel will tell me if no one's on the on the air. We'll have him debut on the show if need be. But uh, you're on the air. Who is this and where are you calling from? This is Ray from Austin, Texas. Yes, Ray. And uh, I was listening to Lance's show a few days ago, and I have to agree with him about the tag team ladder match because you don't want to see the same thing that happened last year when – Triple H introduced the world title because nobody could beat Roman Reigns. So you have to split up the belts. And I think this way of two tag teams getting a pair in a match that you don't have to pin either of the Judgment Day is clearly what they're going to do. And if not, you know, I'll give you 50 bucks. Well, you know, I want to thank you very much for the call. But Lance's prediction, if you didn't hear the show... Was that uh, the the deal? By the way, Daniel, when I say thank you very much for the call, that means you can disconnect him. I I don't know if he's uh, that. That's how I do it. But anyway, um, his his prediction is that uh, one one team's going to grab one set, another team's going to grab another set. And uh, the thing is, here's what's interesting: they have said you must pull down both sets of belts. Okay. But they have never made it clear that the tag titles could be split in this match. So I do believe that that is probably what's going to happen is, you know, maybe Judgment Day will get one set and, uh, you know, whoever else will get the second set, DIY, whoever. Yeah, I hate that. I would save that for the draft then break it up that way. But well, I would not even have a draft personally. Well, you know they will. All right, let's go to the phones. You're on the air. Oh, is this where you're calling from? Hey, this is uh, Brandon from Portsmouth, Virginia. Ma'am, my main man, Brandon, yes. What's up? Hey, so this might not really be a wacky prediction, but it is a wacky desire that I want for this Bloodline Rules match. Um, I just want all chaos happening through this match. I want like 50 people out there fighting each other. I want Rikishi out there giving sting faces to people. Oh, my God. I want... I want I, I I want Mako Satamora coming after the Rock because she's the real final boss, and then Ava Rain comes after Mako for coming after her father. All of this chaos I want, and then in the end, Cody pins Roman and finishes the story. So that's what I want. Well, I want to thank you very much for the call. And uh, if you watch the Bloodline Rules match on Monday, I mean, what I expect is largely the same thing. I think they're going to go 20 minutes, and there's going to be nobody out there. And then I think that something's, you know, Cody's going to go for some move or whatever. And then the dudes are going to start running in. And I hope it's the exact same thing. And, you know, I I, I do not think this is going to happen, okay? But, you know, that that uh, that CM Punk interview where he was he was he was burying AEW and everything. And he did say he did say one thing, and that is, you know, no matter what he thought about the company and everything, he said Tony Khan's a nice guy. And I would not disagree with that. No. Whatever you want to say about AEW, Tony Khan is a very, very nice guy. Fact. And I don't think it's going to happen, but I believe that if Nick Khan called Tony Khan and he said, can we please use Dustin in this match, I believe that Tony Khan would say yes. I don't think it is going to happen, but I think if WWE wanted it to happen, it would happen. So we'll see. But I do I do expect I don't think Rakishi's gonna be there. But I hope there are a whole bunch of callbacks and surprises and, and all sorts of nuttiness. And I don't want it to be a House of Torture match, but if you watch House of Torture matches, I mean Ugh. they're absolutely horrible, but you know what? Yes. Every now and then they have the one where the House of Torture does their shtick, but the baby face one ups them right and left and gets the win and the place goes nuts. It works every time. And I think it's okay to do that in this particular match. And you can have a lot of, of what Brandon was talking about when it comes to the family later, because remember, uh, I can't remember if it was Zilla Fatu or whoever it was that was talking about the fact that they got calls. They were going to do a possibly a tribal summit with the entire family. That was on, you know, a possible thing last year. You could still do that again, and if you're going to introduce a Tamatonga or somebody like that into the mix as Roman, you know, again, Roman's probably going to go away after Mania too, so you're going to have to probably, you know, tie up those ends as well too. So you could actually maybe wait on some of that stuff until afterward. 
1-800-878-PLAY, 1-800-878-7529. Let's go to the phones. You're on the air. Drive time radio. Oh, sorry. What's going on? Hello. Hey, it's Don the Don Rossberger here calling you. Perfect for drive time radio. Yes, Don the Don. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Uh, You know, I was uh, watching that blood sport thing, and my favorite thing about that whole show was a little kid that was right there by the entrance where all the wrestlers came in. And, uh, you know, they'd all look at him. The best one was Minoru Suzuki just stopped dead in his tracks, looked down at the kid, just gave him that, duh, and the kid just did not flinch, had his hand out. And Minoru Suzuki reached down and just flipped him on the chin with his finger and walked into the ring. It was great. (laughs) Well, thank you, Don the Don. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, Don the Don... Uh, you know, I, uh, isn't the Don fighting for the NXT title? Uh, one Don is. One but that Don. Don. I got to be honest. Do you know how much bourbon and how many menthol cigarettes that I smoked for years to try to get a radio voice like that? Well, My God. Yeah, Don the Don. He should uh, He should be the co-host Fridays. All right, let's uh, go to the phones. You're on the air. Filthy mean I'll make it back. Who is this? So. Hey, this is Dan from St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, Dan. Um to follow up on what a caller just said a, a minute ago, I was listening to uh, Michael Cole. Uh, they had the Pat McAfee show earlier today, and uh, he he mentioned. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, I, I completely lost it. I completely well. Hold on, we were talk- lost my train of thought. Hold on, we were talking about uh, which caller we talking about? The one that was talking about. Um, I forgot what we were talking about as well. <laughs> What, yeah, what, it was, what was two it call? callers ago. It was a, what was the caller two, 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 two calls ago, Mike? Mike. <laughs> what, talking about what, Portsmouth, talking about the uh, tribal chief? and talking Oh, yeah, about the, the Rikishi. Rikishi, Chaos. House of Pain, House of Torture. <laughs> House yes. of Pain case. Uh, not, Dustin. Not, 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 Dustin. Not Rikishi, Dustin, but Dustin Rhodes. But the, yes. the possibility of Dustin Rhodes showing up. Yes. Michael Cole actually mentioned Dustin Rhodes by name Did he? on the Pat McAfee show. Ooh. Did he? Yeah. 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 I, I want to thank you very much for the call. I'm telling you, I don't rule it out. I don't want people reporting it. I just Ryan, I can't rule it out. Rock has talked about that man's mama. He has talked about he know he talked about his sister, talked about his Oh, his brother. mother will be there as well. Oh my god. I'll it's, bet you anything. I'd I'd bet you a hundred bucks. His mother's gonna get a hold of that belt and she is gonna whip the bejesus out of the rock. Mm. Guaranteed. Absolutely is Teal, guaranteed. Is Teal Margaret gonna be there? Absolutely guaranteed. I hope everybody's there. It's going to be amazing. It wonder, is. Wonder, wonder if Brandy is going to show up. Oh, Ooh. Ava and Brandy. I don't know if Brandy's. I don't know if Ava's going to be there as a heel though. Hey, you know you want to know a scoop? Everybody, it's kind of weird. What's that? So there's there's so many people going to Mania, and like there have been a bunch of shows lately where uh, you know in the in the back, you know TV or whatever, they have the sign up. Absolutely no comps. You cannot get your family there. And it's to the point where there are there are people who have been employed for in WWE for years that are going to be working the NXT show and then have to fly home. Yeah. They will not be going to WrestleMania. So it is packed in the back. It is packed in the building. And uh, and they got to make some calls. Be interesting to see what they announce. I think what both nights are going to technically be under seventy thousand, but I can imagine. Oh, they'll they'll say ninety one. Well, that's They'll actually say. probably say more than the actual number for Wembley. I'm, I I'm guarantee not sure. Well, somebody will have to look up what the, the biggest Eagles game has done technically, and then, yeah, add on 10,000 to that, and you're going to have a total of uh, pushing 200,000 by the time it's said and done. <laughs> Let's go to the phones. You're on the air. What's going on? What's up, guys? My name's Carson. I'm calling from Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, I wanted to talk about AEW Dynasty. Uh, I think you have to 100% put the title on Swerve, uh, or else he's going to fall into that same category as Danielson is. You know, a guy who's destined to never win gold. But uh, I think this is a prime opportunity for them to make the first black world champion in, I mean, right until Wembley, because then it's Osprey show after that. Well, I want to thank you very much for the call. I think that at some point, for sure, Swerve needs to be champion. But when I do look at it, as I've talked about before, if it's my company, I do not make Swerve my babyface world champion and put him in a position to be booed against Will Ospreay for weeks leading up to and in Wembley for that title. 
So I... But you know what? He can lose it to a Takeshita or somebody like that. It's too many title changes. That. Wembley's only a few months away, dude. Yeah, but I know. But look, if you do it right and you tell the story right, Brian, you can absolutely do it because you haven't done it. You haven't bastardized it, so you can do it. I know, but, but having your first ever... Can you imagine having the first ever black AEW champion and beating him a month later? I mean, you can't. You just cannot do that. He needs a good long run and, you know... Hey, listen... He's you want him to be one. Will Ospreay? Fine. I'm fine with that. Down the road. Other than Will Ospreay, he's the number one baby face they have, and they got to continue to keep gassing him up that way. So, you know, I agree that way. He should become the champion, you know, sooner rather than later. But, again, you can, again depending on how, how hot he is and how popular he is, you could have a Samoa Joe or somebody do something dastardly to him as long as he gets revenge on that Wembley show. I like old Lenny here. I would have called if I had the number. Oh, well, you I've stop. only gave the number 15 times in the last 10 minutes here, and brother. We've been using that number for 15 years up until you got your studio. All right. To the phones. You're on the air. What's going on? We are out of callers. Oh, my God. Oh. See, Lenny? Yeah, you messed up. Look and now we got a minute timing, left. Though. Listen to, yeah. listen to Daniel. Uh, Daniel, what are you looking forward to this weekend? Uh, I would say um, probably hammered. Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre. Seth Rollins, what a sexy voice that uh, Daniel has. Sorry I called you out earlier. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.